if the government is now saying it will look at all options, what it means is that they're expecting to lose the vote today under the Fixed Term Parliament Act, which would require them to have a two-thirds majority. As when and if they don't get that, they'll look at the proposals put forward by some of the smaller opposition parties, the Liberal Democrats and the Scottish Nationalist Party, with a view to having a slightly earlier, just a few days earlier general election, but crucially with no deal, the idea of leaving the UK, the EU with no deal, ruled out. Uh, and that the government didn't want to do that, but it may be that it has no choice other than to go for that. The government has always said it's prepared to go for no deal because it gives them a more powerful negotiating position. Uh, the truth is that, of course, if there were no deal, it isn't the end of Brexit. Nothing's the end of Brexit, really, because whether or not Boris Johnson gets his deal through or there's a no-deal Brexit, it's the beginning, not the end of the process, of the UK renegotiating its relationship, not only with the EU, but with the United States and a whole range of other countries, because they'd have to set new trade deals with all of them, certainly if the UK is currently within the EU system for having a trade relationship with a particular country or bloc. An option of a delay up to the 31st of January allows either Boris Johnson's withdrawal deal to be put to Parliament and perhaps eventually to get through Parliament, uh, whether amended or not, or alternative for Alternatively, for the UK to hold a general election, which the Prime Minister Boris Johnson and actually some of the minority parties want, uh, that can also be accommodated within a 31st of January deadline. Of course, it's likely that there will be the possibility of leaving on either of the other months, the end of November or the end of December, should the UK somehow sort this all out.